We're at North High School where tonight the Raiders host Green Bay West. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, last week uh, West had a dynamite win against East in overtime. Uh, North had a really tough goal of it up at Ash Wabanon. Uh, this is going to be a tough game for North. Yeah, it's something that Coach uh, Brixen said in our interviews was, you know, we've had five years of you know building football program and trying to have the kids have a lot of fun. But the bottom line, he says, this is the year we have to start winning. If you can't beat Green Bay West at home, I mean, it's going to make it for a very difficult year. Not that the season's over, but you know, you got to take these games at home, especially against some of the bottom teams like Green Bay West, and turn them into victories. One of the things that concerns me is the defense for North. They're prone to giving up the big plays, and uh, West has a couple of game breakers on their team. Yeah, they do have some speed, and I think that's a good point. Tommy Ross, a senior, Tanner Doctory, two seniors, a uh, linebacker and a safety there. you got to you know, make sure that your defense is solid all night. You know, Not just uh, for a couple plays, every play. Let's not have one break big. You know, Have those guys ready to play all night and shut down that West uh, offense because they do have some speed and some talent. Uh, Lovano Brady last year broke an 84-yard uh, kickoff return for a touchdown, and he did have a 50-yard run against North. And he was that was when he was a freshman. He's a sophomore. Uh, you got to think he's going to be getting the ball tonight. Yeah, and he's got a good one, Tyler Masupi. Uh, the Masupi name's been at Green Bay West for a number of years. He's the quarterback there. He played catcher for the for their baseball team. He's just got a gun. So uh, watch that connection a little bit. Watch a little one on one. Maybe Connor Stengel will be on him tonight. He also has good speed. So. Uh, it's up to him to number three. Let's watch number three on number one tonight. One thing that North does have is they do have some good running backs, and uh, they don't always maybe gain a lot of yards, but they do have experience. Yeah, Micah Freeze is going to be there, and uh, Brendan Gundrum. They got a whole bunch of guys you're going to see whittling in and whittling out with the football. There's no question. And you know, DVC Derek Van Calligan, their quarterback, uh, he threw 25 passes last week. But we got to use his feet too. He's going to have to move around, and you know, with his athleticness, and maybe he, him get some yards as well. One thing that can help uh, hold down the game breakers for West is if North can control the offensive side of the ball and you know make some long drives. As much as the big play is going on for defense, one thing I'm looking for tonight is they got to establish some offense. You know, in the scrimmage, I understand they struggle a little bit on offense. Last weekend against Ashwaubenon, which is just a beast of a team, you know, they struggled as well. So what they need to do is, like you say, start establishing some drives and control the ball, keep it away from those weapons for West. You had mentioned before we came on the air that uh, in the ranking system or the predictions really west was predicted to take last place in the conference north was predicted to take uh, 11th place out of the 12 uh, this is a big game yeah it definitely is and you know there's some games on the schedules this year for sheboygan north that you can look on the schedule on most years you can say hey we can beat this team we can beat this team this this team so when coach brixton said in the you know the the interviews earlier in our pregame he's you know he basically said you know you know our goal is to make it to the playoffs they have a very favorable schedule this year but like i said before you know you got to take business by winning at home against west we're going to step out, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's football game. ...to the max, with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Introducing the all-new Enclave. It's a minivan to the max, with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. My family camps. We just love it. But there's this bug. It's killing the trees. The emerald ash borer beetle has destroyed millions of trees. It lives in firewood. You move firewood, you spread the beetle. I promise not to move firewood. 
to burn it where I buy it. I promise. Will you promise? Learn more. Go to StopTheBeetle.info and promise you won't move firewood. These things we count on every day started as ideas. Ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. I respect my sport. I play by the rules. I honor my opponents. Integrity is found in competing fairly. The only fair sport is clean sport. I strive to win, I give my all. I compete clean because real athletes play fair. They're uh, introducing the uh, starting lineups. They uh, introduced Green Bay West as a team. Uh, North is coming out as a squad. I believe they're uh, introducing the uh, offense. Offense uh, Starting at quarterback will be number two, Derek Van Calligan. Number five, Reed Conter will be the fullback. Number 33, Micah Fries will be the uh, running back along with uh, Brennan Gundrum, number 42. Wide receiver is number 88, Jake Stengel. Tight end is Eric Lewis, number 81. Uh, interior line, John Gallner will be the center, number 56. The guards are Tim Voss, number 60, and Ethan Lewis, number 74. And the tackles are number 71, Fletcher Byans, and number 57, Chris Collin. And there you see uh, Van Calligan trotting out to uh, midfield and the rest of the Golden Raiders. We we're not able to get all of the uh, defensive starters for West, so we won't uh, go into that. We will be calling their names, of course, during the uh, broadcast as they make tackles. I imagine they'll make a few. <laughs> <laughs> North comes in 0-1. They lost uh, 42 to nothing. There you see Steve Brixen, the head coach. Uh, did a great job on the show, by the way, with you, Chris. Yeah, watch. Of course, that all has to do with the interviewer. Yeah, I got to be <laughs> honest with you. I watched again the other night on Tuesday night, and again, nice production done by uh, the guys at uh, TV8. And yeah, Scott Miloff really oh. did a great job with that intro and uh, getting everything pieced together. Uh, West is coached by uh, Harry Sidney, former running back and uh, actually a former coach with the Packers. I believe he coached a year or two. Yep. There you see uh, Harry Sidney. Uh, he's still a big line. guy. <laughs> I got a feeling he's always going to be a big guy. <laughs> you know, when you're a big guy, you don't all of a sudden just get small. Our officials tonight are uh, from the Fond du Lac area. The referee is Art Godeski. The umpire is uh, Dale Friedley. The line judge is Jason Friedley. The uh, linesman is Chuck Bladorn. We know uh -huh. Chuck from oh, way yeah. back. And then the back judge is Paul Nush. And... Uh, Based on the name Bladehorn, he's been officiating in the WIA for many, many years. I suspect this is a good crew. It'll do a good job. Back deep for West is uh, the kid we talked about in the opening, Lovano Brady, number one, and number three, uh, Jared Dart. Now there was a kid we did not talk about in the opening. He's an excellent football player and uh, was a stud for him last year. It's uh, Birdman, Matt Hunick kicking off for North. Kick it away from uh, it's Dart. Brady. And uh, coming up and uh, making the stop for North is uh, number 42, Brennan Gundrum. Good idea to kick it away from Brady there, uh, Marty. Isn't that for sure? Not that uh, Dart's not a bad athlete either. Been a bunch of darts over there at uh, West as well. Ball is spotted on the 18 yard line. Mysupi is at quarterback. In the backfield with him 
is uh, Ryan Vertigan, number 45. Vertigan was their uh, leading rusher last year. 199 back there, that's a big boy. Inside handoff and uh, pushing up over the 20 yard line is Vertigan for a bit of a gain, maybe three, four yards. Chris Urbanic, one of the guys there in a the tackle. He's a junior. He's a former St. Dominic's athlete. That was actually a five yard pickup. Good push at the end, makes it uh, second down and five. Split out wide to the right is uh, Kyle Wieser, number 27. Again, fake handoff. Maisupi keeps it, he's around the outside and is gonna get knocked down just over the 40 yard line. There's a fumble. North saying they've got it, and they do. Well, Marty Sheboygan North got totally fooled on that misdirection. I would not be happy if I was the North coaching staff whatsoever. I mean, there's gotta be people staying home on that side. They got a break on the turnover. That's a great thing, but you gotta be better than that. Yeah, look at there's nobody there, but watch the nice hit here. I believe again, that was uh, Cowart's on the tackle, but nice break on the turnover. We'll take it, but let's not have something like that happen later. Good point, Chris. Ball is spotted at the uh, west 41-yard line. North catches a break on Mysupi's fumble. He picked up uh, 18 yards on that play, only to lose it. Matter of fact, make it uh, yeah, 18 yards on the play. And Calligan. There's on, his feet. On a keeper. Oh, get a clip, not called. And he gets it up over the 45, or pardon me, down inside the 35 to about the 34 yard line. Boy, it looked like a clip on the edge, Chris, not yeah, called. Did. Yep, yes it did. Gotta get your athletes the football, and uh, even though it's your quarterback, you know, sometimes it's just handoff, handoff, handoff. I like that, getting them out there. Nice seven yard gain. Just a junior, DVC, we also see him on the basketball court. You played on the varsity there too. In motion is uh, Gundrum. Fake inside handoff and Calligan on a keeper again. Uh, little or no gain on that play. Still trying to get him out for a baseball, Marty, because of that left arm and played when he was younger. Just, uh, just uh, other interests right now. Actually about a loss of a yard on that play, Chris, makes it uh, third down and four. Ball spotted right on the 35 yard line. I'm looking at number 74 uh, for West at 322 pounds. Jake Jim Stengel is uh, being covered up and uh, takes off a little bit early. West was uh, showing blitz coming up the middle before the whistle was uh, Vertigan, number 45. But Stengel jumped the gun. By a ways. I was just saying, Marty, that Jim Zeidel there, he's a big boy right over the nose guard. There's a penalty on North. Five yarder. It's gonna make a third down and nine now. Boy, oh boy, Chris, they had a second down and three and they've been marching backwards. Got to take advantage of you know the field position, a nice turnover, the first down gain there, and that's just a discipline thing. You got to be better at that than that. In motion is Freeze. Calligan, lefty throws it. It pass is complete, but short of the first down, the receiver that time was Reed Conter, the fullback. They're going, Marty. Nice play there. Ball is spotted at the 30 yard line. It's a pickup of 10 yards. Contra just a sophomore. First and 10. One of those many backs we'll be seeing out of the North offense. Good run that time by Conter. Put oh. his head down and got the first down. Fake inside handoff and Calligan keeps it again and falls forward for about three. Well, this is what we mentioned, Chris. We want to have uh, North control the ball. Keep uh, West from having their hands on it. 
It's second down and about seven. Ball down to the 27 yard line. Fake handoff, little pitch out and being taken down in the backfield was Micah Freeze. That play didn't go anywhere. It's going to be third down and uh, 12. Loss of five on that. And Callaghan ducks under center. Rise in motion. Scott Lefty Stengel. looking. Fires Stengel. it deep, a good throw, a nice catch by Stengel. He's knocked out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. Great pass and catch. Stengel just ran a kind of an in and out. Little zigzag pattern. Good protection by the line. DVC delivers a strike. 25 yard pickup on that play. Makes it first and goal from the seven yard line. Ben Calligan, inside handoff, cutting it back is uh, Gundrum, gets it inside the five yard line, down to about the two or three. Good blocking there. Second and goal. All near to center, blocking there. I don't like that cross action there. Five yard pickup. Hunter is the uh, middle back. We got three men in the backfield. Gundrum and uh, Fry's the other. Good play. And Calligan fakes the handoff and then keeps it and runs it right up the middle for the touchdown. Good job by Van Calligan. And North on top early. 7.26 remaining in the first quarter. Well, that was sweet, Chris. I like that play. Nine play, 41 yard drive. In to kick for North is uh, Thai Zhang. Bad snap, he does get the kick off. <laughs> and it crawls over. Did that ricochet <laughs> of a West guy? <laughs> it's like when you're playing tennis and it hits off the top of the net and it skips over. <laughs> PAT good. I'm gonna take a short break and be right back. <laughs> wow. Well, the fans are into it. How about that? Halfway through the first quarter and North's winning. Matt Hunick is another chance to kick one off here. Well, the best part about it was they really controlled the ball for uh, nine plays and uh, controlled the clock and kept it out of the hands of the uh, game breakers for West. Getting ready to uh, do the kicking. Chris had mentioned this earlier is Matt Hunick. He likes to uh, work at town and country. He might go over there for brunch and he'll make you an omelet. Oh, really, he's yeah. the man, huh? He's the man. Brady and Dart back deep for uh, West and the, uh, the officials are discussing something. I'm not sure what. Did you see what I saw is what they're saying? It hit a West player, went over. Oh, there's an injury to uh, one of the refs. Refs. That's why they're waiting. Well, this is not good. We never like to see anybody get hurt in a football game or at a game. And uh, we had this happen, oh, maybe a year or two years ago. That official sit on on the bench on the sideline for a long time. I don't think he ever did come back in the game that yeah, night. I don't know if he's hurt or if he's just not feeling very well. Yeah, we didn't see what happened. 
And uh, I'm assuming it happened on that extra point. So the officials out there on the field are just... Organizing themselves. Yeah, I just think he's not feeling very well. They showed some highlights of an uh, NFL game on ESPN today, and the official was running down the sidelines covering a long pass and just went down in a heap. He ran into a substitute quarterback. <laughs> the whole flag came out right away. That's a penalty on you. Get the heck out of the way. North on top, seven to nothing. There's 726 remaining in the first quarter. Kick is gonna be taken at about the 15 by Brady. Oh boy, and we talked uh, about this, he's a Marty. Game breaker. Munich covers him up at the north, 37. We talked about this, can't kick to him. Thirty-eight yard return. Here you're gonna see it, Marty. Let's check out the blocking. It's a good block there, and then he just runs by people. Good block on uh, that North defender, and then finally North able to surround him. Yeah, Doctor D and uh, Hunick. First and ten, West ball is on the thirty-seven. My Supi is the quarterback, number seven, and uh, Ryan Vertigan, number 45, is the running back. Three wide receivers. Not much pressure on My Supi, and he makes a good uh, connection with his wide receiver there. I think that was Dart, Marty. Yeah, it was. You're right. A lot of time there. Pick up a six on the play. But you got to really... One thing you don't want him to do is you don't mind if he sits back in the pocket, but what you don't want him to do is get outside and run. So I'd rather see that than a Viser scamper is, out. Yeah, they got four wide receivers now, two to the left and two to the right. A little crossing pattern on the uh, left side, and that ball is uh, way overthrown by uh, Maisupi. It's going to be third down for West. I got a feeling, Chris, if they get somewhat close, they're going to be going for it on fourth down. Maybe even if it's, there's some motion. Yep, penalty play comes out and uh, thrown down right at the line of scrimmage was Vertigan. Yeah. The uh, wide receiver on this side was real late in adjusting up and uh, didn't, never was set, and uh, hence the penalty. Nick Gatowski on the stop there. Wrestler, baseball player, and football player. The bus driver. Yeah, the bus driver. He's got that loopy kind of swing, by the way. He's never going to be much of a hitter unless he gets that squared away. You might want to work on, <laughs> work on that this winter. That uh, penalty is declined because they stopped uh, Vertigan right at the line of scrimmage. Matter of fact, he lost a yard. So it's gonna be fourth down and five. Ball spotted on the 32. Another interesting situation here. They're gonna go for it. Three wide receivers off to the right, Chris. One to the left. Maisupi rolling, looking, looking, fires short. Vertigan, oh, gotta hit, gotta make that tackle. Ease. Chris Urbanic had him, uh, and he lost him. And uh, hit him too high. You got to take him down. Yep. Be first and ten. West. Watch. Yeah. Watch a nice little catch. Yeah. If you just stiff arm him right to the ground, you got to be tougher than that, North. Boy, that's just a dangerous situation. I'd run that again. Got all those receivers out there and those feet of Masupi. 12 yard pickup on the play. Inside Vertigan, right up the middle. And gets it down inside the 15. Ball was spotted on the 21. It's 
It'll be second down and about three. Pick up a seven on the play. Brady's over here on the right, Marty. Crossing pattern. Mysupi was looking for him. Now he fumbled the ball. Picking it, picked it up by North. That man's going to go all the way for touchdown. Lucas McKnight. Touchdown, Sheboygan North on another turnover by Tyler Mysupi. Oh, you, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy mackerel. You could see Mysupi looking for Brady over the middle, but... Uh, the North defender broke through. I think it was Gutowski again that flushed him there. Caused that fumble. Here you'll see it. Yes, I Picks think that is. It's up at the 26, so that's going to be a 74 yard fumble return. Gutowski delivered the uh, big hit. There you see. Go get a drink, Nick. Coach Brixen says good play. West driving down there, and they take him away. How about that? Let's see if they can get this extra point to be a little more uh, conventional. Tai Zhang kick is good. With 4.59 remaining in the first quarter, North on top, 14 to nothing. or her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. You see Lucas McKnight. Put a smile on that face, Lucas. That was an excellent play. I thought he was saying, can you take me out for this kick? <laughs> you know what I, was, what I was really impressed by is he didn't rush. He got there, he picked the ball up, and he kept his kept balance. And, uh, pretty good speed. Of course, he got a 30-pounder chasing these should be able to outrun him. <laughs> Phoenix kick, and uh, Brady takes it at the uh, 15 again right up the middle and uh, gets it out to about the 37. Paul Lopez, I believe, on the tackle there. Good job. <laughs> 22 yard return that time. It's gonna be first and 10 for West. And uh, North with a great start. Did everybody see that? 14-0, Sheboygan North. Well, that official is uh, back in the game, Chris. You see him, uh, you can't see him in your picture. He's just to the right of uh, our, our field. There he was at the 45. Just yeah. a little dehydrated, I think. Mysupi looking, fires straight over the middle. Got Brady. Wow. And he's knocked down short of a first down at about the uh, 47 or 46 yard line. <laughs> Gotta like that connection there. A junior and a sophomore. Those two are gonna be wrecking havoc for the next two years. Good time and protection there for uh, Masupi. And that guy's a weapon, no question. Second down and one, the nine yard pickup. Mysupi fires it out to Dart. He slips a tackle, slips another tackle, and is finally down inside North Territory at the 35 yard line. That is very poor tackling. 
You're going to see at least three missed tackles. Yeah, this time Stengel one, with a miss. Two. Stengel with a miss. And Stengel, that gets the last one. Well, Stengels were on that play. Yep. First and 10, ball spotted on the 34. They're marching back up. here. I think there was a, a block out of bounds on uh, Brady, Marty, and that's what they're going to call here. Illegal block. Yeah. Oh, we 20 yard pickup is uh, taken back. Illegal or? I think it's a post penalty. So now it'll be first and 25. Yeah, you are right. First down and 25. No, nope, 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 nope. They're gonna put they're gonna call that it was during the play, so it'll be first and ten. From the forty nine about. Yeah. My fault. I thought they called a post penalty there. Here we go. Trips to the right. They're Masupi coming. getting pressured. Push from the back, not called, but tripping up uh, Mysupi for North was Connor Stengel. Good play by Stengel. Yeah, he missed that tackle before, but how about that one? A shoestring tackle, used his speed, and that's a big play again for North. Boy, we talked about giving up the big play. They've been making the big plays. Two turnovers and now a big sack. You're going to see it. Watch the push in the back right here. There, but he stays with it and made the stop. It's going to be second down and 18. Good job, Connor. Ball spotted on the 42-yard line. My soupy on a quick out to Brady, and he's hitting stop. Now there's a form tackle for you. Making that stop for North was Tom Ross. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Studleys. Yeah, second team all-conference linebacker a year ago, I believe. That was honorable mention, but uh, see how nice and low he was and drove there? Watch this for all you watching at home. Nice and low, boom! Just like they show you in the drills, boys. Pick up a two yards on the play. All you youth football players should be watching that. Yeah, really. There's Judge Stengel there in the corner with the hat. Penny Molesky right yep. in the middle here shot there. Penny's always getting TV time. My soupy deep. Oh. Almost intercepted by uh, Connor Stengel and uh, the wide receiver that time for West was a big guy. Matthew Hipola. He's a 6'4", 190 pound junior. He was their uh, leading receiver last year, Chris. He was a big guy. Yeah, I got uh, I got him for 19 receptions for 186 yards. He did have one touchdown. That was last year. Back deep to receive the punt for uh, North. Uh, Stengel. Didn't we see this last week? Uh, North call that timeout. Yes. They didn't have their uh, punt coverage team on. 2.23 remaining in the first quarter. 14 and nothing north. Ball's on the 45. It's fourth down. 16 to go. First quarter. And that little number two in the middle and the little number three on the other side, those are the timeouts. North only has two now. It this is, half. It is a perfect night, Marty. Nice. Uh, Shooting the moon again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be out with shorts on and a short sleeve shirt. Great camera work, guys. Long first quarter, but a good first quarter if you're a north sider. That's right. Josh Brugink and uh, Jacob Stengel back deep. Pretty good pressure, kick is away. Brugink has it on the 25, 30, flag comes out right away. I got a feeling this is all coming back. Staying on to the ball. Good return. Yeah, down inside the 45 yard line, but uh, that's gonna be all for naught. 
That flag came down right away, Marty. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, you've got the push in the back there. Easy play to call if you're an official. Oh boy. A nice return by Brugink. There you see Steve Brixen. He's got to be happy the way his team's playing tonight. Uh, they do have some work to do, though, on those fundamentals because they do need to clean up the tackling aspect of it. You, know, you can't have one guy out there, you know, making nice form tackles and the rest of the guys uh, hitting them up high and you know, not making the stops. Hopefully they'll get that cleared up. First and 10 north, ball is spotted on the 22-yard line. Stengel wide to the left. Ben Calligan, fries in motion. Inside handoff, pounding it up the middle. Whoa, fries was taken down. I think that was Conter, number five, Marty. A sophomore, six footer. Second down. He caught that first down pass earlier in the game. Yep, we'll give him a pickup of five on the play. Second down and five or second and six, pardon me, pick up a four. Inside handoff again, pounding up the middle for North. Conter was, again. Yeah, Conter again. And why not when you're making big chunks of yards like that? He's just short of the first down. We'll give him five on that carry, makes it third down and one. Hustling in a little bit late for the play was uh, Eric Gizaki. Oh, he had a football, or excuse me, a helmet uh, misfunction here. All right, let's see if they go over big number 74, Ethan Lewis. Now they go to that side, and uh, it's going to be close. Chris, you might have some work to do again. Conter on his third carry in a row was the ball carrier. Short. Yeah, it doesn't look like he got it. Here you see Van Calligan coming over to the sideline to talk to uh, Coach. Coach is saying, tell those guys to block. A long, well, that's a good yard, Marty. Yeah. Decision time, I'm punting. Don't lose the field position game now. All right, so Conter goes for no gain. It's going to be fourth and one. North will be punting. That's in the punt for uh, the Raiders is uh, Ross. And uh, it's nice to see Brady not back there. Yep. Good snap, good blocking up front, and the kick is away. Give us a roll. Uh, good job of that young man to get out of the way. That uh, was uh, Kenny Saivong making the good decision to get out of the way, and uh, Ross gets a nice punt. Ball is going to be taken over at the 29-yard line for West. Okay, Chris, how long was it? 40. <laughs> you are a man. I checked the math, but 19, 29, 39, 40. You're right. I hate that when you're right all the time. God. Vertigan and Mysupi in the backfield. Mysupi's the quarterback. He's been doing a lot of chucking this uh, quarter. It's 26 seconds and counting. Pretty good pressure by North. The lob pass Stengel. is intercepted by Stengel. And then he loses the ball, but it's picked up by North. And uh, running it back up the field is uh, Sean Grover. Third West turnover. And that was the first really bad pass. Here you'll see the replay, Marty. He rolls out, he's got time. He just kind of lobs it up there. But that's not a good pass. And uh, Stengel with an easy pick. 
Tried to touch it in there, and uh, you're right, that was not a good decision, especially when your man is covered by three different uh, defenders. Ball is right on the 50-yard line for North. 11.3 uh, seconds remaining in the first quarter. In motion is Freeze. Crossing action in the backfield. Van Calligan still has it, fires it out. Stengel made a good adjustment, but couldn't hang on. Well, he ran a good route, but that time the pass was a little bit short. And uh, that right. uh, Jacob came back for the ball and almost made a nice play to catch it there. But again, a nice route run there by Jacob Stengel. And uh, I don't think you'll see too many of those short, you know, balls being short by uh, DVC. He's got a good arm. Should be the last play of the quarter, Marty. Should have ran the last one. It would have been. <laughs> All righty, second down and 10, ball on the 50. Coming off the field for West. Of course, he doesn't have his name in the program, number nine. As we mentioned, his name coming in for him, though, is uh, big number 75, Brandon Brashinsky. He goes 6'3", 222. And Calgan on a handoff. Good running play up the middle, but it's going to be short of the first down, but uh, Gundrum on the carry, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. North on top, 14 to nothing. These things we count on every day started as ideas. Ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. They're back at North High School where North is on top, 14 to nothing. Uh, scoring plays for North was uh, Derek Van Calligan on a two-yard run for a touchdown. The extra point by Zhang was good. And then the big play was uh, North's second touchdown. Maisupi fumbled the ball at the 26. It was picked up by uh, Lucas McKnight. Uh, big number, 84. McKnight goes 6'2", uh, 198, and he raced down the field 76 yards, 74 yards for a touchdown. Uh, Zhang again with the extra point, and uh, that's where we're at right now. 14 to nothing, North on top. And uh, as we start second quarter action, it's going to be second down and five. Third down at five, Marty. Third down at five. Pardon me, I knew that. Fake handoff, and Calgan being chased, gets the pass away, and I believe it was caught. Uh, no, it was not caught. They got a penalty back there. Van Calligan looks like he was roughed after the throw, and uh, they're going to uh, get West for that uh, penalty. Number nine, who we don't have the na name yeah, for he before, was he was in hot pursuit, and he gave an extra oomph that he didn't have to do. And Very bad penalty for Whoa, West, I and I got to tell you, thing. you know, Coach Sidney cannot be happy with this start. He's got... Uh, Four possessions, two fumbles, an interception, and a punt. And now we get a chance to uh, possibly force North into punting. And you uh, rough the passer and gives them an automatic first down, regardless of where the play was. And Oh, man, it takes it all the way down to the 30-yard line. It was a penalty. Look at that. Quads to the right. Passes tipped at the line. Incomplete. By that number nine. Sorry, we got to call him number nine, but as we said, we don't have his name. We'll try to get that for you. Second down and 10. Well, now all the rest of the teams in the conference know 
Quads right. Well, I like that too as they hustled to the line so West didn't have a chance to adjust. Unfortunately, uh, yes, couldn't nobody, connect. Nobody hit number nine. He's a big boy. And penalty on North. Christopher Collin uh, got out of his stance a little too quick. It's going to be a penalty. It's going to be second down and 15 now. Boy, wouldn't it be some if they could put this one in right here. Oh boy, that'd be huge. Three score lead. Oh boy. Oh. Can you say jump Ooh. the gun? Lewis, and I think Gundrum that time. <laughs> Take your pick, there were about three of them. Oh, oh boy. Using up all my lines and my score sheet for penalties. Second down and 20. Inside <laughs> handoff to Conter. And he gets it up to about, the, or down to about the 37. What was so funny? <laughs> you think they just said on, on first, just got up there and snapped the ball. <laughs> they didn't yeah. even have a, a cadence that time. On one. <laughs> right. Or Quick before we <laughs> jump. <laughs> he was like up there and there's my man Carter. Carter and Casey. <laughs> the Bell family. There's St. Dominic's kid. They got some big boys. They're going to be coming over here. Carson, the oldest brother, will be a good football player here. Callaghan stepping up, but then he gets knocked down at the 40-yard line. Good rush that time by West. And uh, they got to Van Callaghan for a loss of three. Fourth down and 20. Boy, that had such a positive thing going on. You had that penalty and then first down at the 30 and they're gonna be turning it over at the 40. That's not good, although they should hopefully get West pinned back. Well, and I like the, the quads over here too. West had no chance at that. No, they had three blockers for Stengel. He should have been able yep. to make some hay on that play, but... Uh, another uh, punt and another timeout! T.O. North, that's their second timeout of the half. Both on punts. Yeah, 10.32 remaining in the uh, half. Uh, North has uh, played pretty well here tonight. I don't like those timeouts, Marty. Can you tell? Not when you got to use them. There's Jacob Dazzler and uh, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how they used to be when they walked into gym class. <laughs> just like that. Jason Brahan. Larry's kid. Yep. Of course, Larry was always like that, too. Yep. <laughs> and Julie. Yep. Larry's kind of the quiet kind of guy until you, he gets out of the... You know, a little mold there. Sorry <laughs> for all. I was, oh, I was just going to say being something, a but it's not appropriate for kids on TV. For our principal, <laughs> Mr. Brand, principal at Cooper School. Now Ross had a 40-yard punt last time. Let's see if he can nail one again. How about Maybe a 39, a 39 and a half? <laughs> yeah, 39 yarder would be just fine. And good coverage by North. Oh, picked up by the West uh, receiver. I think that was by. Number 28, Saivong, and uh, gutsy little play, but uh, kept his uh, team from being pinned back too far. First and 10 west. Well, they gotta play defense now, Chris. Ball is uh, gonna be spotted on the 21. Ooh, you were right, boy, that roughing the penalty, roughing the passer penalty put him in a great position, but uh, North not able to capitalize. Brady is uh, very wide to the left, right in front of us. My soupy short pass, the dart is complete out to about the 24. Very short pass. It's gonna be second down and seven. I am 
way behind on my stat keeping. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, I got the plays down. I just haven't translated them over on the uh, total side. Well, there's halftime. Yeah. We'll have some halftime stats for the uh, fans watching. Right up the middle, Vertigan, and uh, he pushes the pile before he's knocked back. Well, one thing about West, they're uh, throwing a lot of passes and up and down the field a little bit. Tough to keep track. Four yards. Pick up. It's going to be third down and three. Ball at the 28-yard line. There you see big number 74, Jim Zadell. My soupy rolling. Here Being chased by Stengel. Got around him. And the left-hander couldn't get it to his uh, running back, Vertigan. Ball falls incomplete. Uh, my soupy is like he could feel that pressure coming, Chris. What do yeah. you think? Elijah Lewis there chasing him and helps him up there. Elijah's a nice kid too, plays a little baseball. He's a he's tough. Tough little kid there, number 55. Brother plays on offense. Fourth down. Back deep for north is uh Brugink and uh Stengel. Uh, not a very good snap. North with a good rush. Brueging takes it on the 40, eludes one tackler up to the 45, cuts inside 50, and we get a blocking penalty. And that's going to go on uh, number 25 for North, Joe Grover. Uh, Joe, Joe, Joe. Brueging, shifty. You're going to see, look for number 25. Uh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> he got him pretty good. That'll be ten thousand dollars. <laughs> you know when the guy is landing flat, like you know, on his stomach, and you're you laying know? on his back, that's an indication <laughs> that uh, you did something wrong. <laughs> but hey, you know, like, didn't the coaches always say, "Look for their numbers," but it meant on the front of their jerseys, not the back. Another penalty on North. I'll tell you, they're piling up here in the second quarter. Right. Uh, one, two, three, three penalties, and they didn't get a fourth because they took a timeout instead, which didn't make Mr. Wright very happy. He's still agonizing over that timeout. We saw Trevor Tagle, nice shot by Brian there, working with the defense, talking to them. Getting ready to kick a field goal is Thai Zhang on the sideline. Inside handoff to uh, Fries and he barrels up for positive yardage. Micah Fries, give him four yards on that carry, Chris. He was pounding. Second down and six. Fries in motion. Inside handoff to Gundrum. He's got the first down. He picks up 10 yards. Good burst of speed that time by Brennan Gundrum. We saw some of that last year, Chris. You know, he's got some good explosiveness. First and 10 for the Raiders. Ball is in West Territory at the 48. Another inside handoff to Conter, but he's not going to go anywhere. Good uh, stout defense that time by the Wildcats. But uh, North controlling the ball and the clock. It's running 7.45 remaining in the first half. North on top, 14 to nothing. And uh, like you mentioned before, Chris, boy, another score would, uh, would that be huge. Rise in motion. Peak. And then the second back through is Gundrum, and uh, he gets it down to the 41. Pick up a seven. Gallner, Ethan Lewis, good blocks there. Good block. I remember 74, Ethan Lewis. I remember John. He was a student, I believe it was out at uh, Lincoln Erdman. 
Nice kid. Third and three. Come on, boys. Got to get it. And Callaghan with a sneak. And I think he's got it. Good call. <laughs> that was one of those hurry up, bark it out so we don't get a penalty. I like that call. Yeah, nice quick it's going to be close. I think they got it, though, but we'll have to wait and see. Boy, I thought he was a lot farther than that. Yeah, I did too, now that you mention it. Well, I can tell you, if he didn't get it, they're going for it on fourth down. Oh, this time I'm going to say he got it, Marty. Chuck Bladehorn holding the uh, chain on the yard marker and uh, the referee, Art Gadeski, signals first down. Or as Chris would say, first down. Ball on the 38. Clock running, 645. North controlling it. Fries in motion. Inside handoff again to uh, Brendan Gundrum, and he gets it down to about the 35. West trying to uh, man up a little bit, but they are having trouble. North is uh, getting off the ball. Second down and seven. Gundrum a 10 yarder, a seven yarder, and now a three yarder. He's picking up positive yardage. It's Gundrum in motion this time. Fake to the second back. Van Calgan throws deep to Stangle. He's got it at the 10. Touchdown, North. What a difference it makes when you can run the ball, Chris. Nope. A little crossing action in the backfield, and he stepped back and winged it down the field for a touchdown. That was my thoughts exactly, Marty. You set him up with the runs, the runs, the runs, and nice play fake there by DVC, and Stengel got behind the defense there. You'll see it. Just enough time. and uh, He does have a good arm, too, because it looked like he was falling back when he wheeled yeah, it. I was going to say, uh, caught uh, West defensive back sleeping and watching for that run, and Stengel got behind there. TD. Jong. Good snap that time. And the hold by Van Calligan is good and uh, the extra point is good. With the 5.54 remaining, North on top, 21 to nothing. Hey, Chris, uh, did you look on that uh, WIS website for the uh, rankings? Yep. Do you remember where East was ranked? Because I looked at it, too, and I just Which don't one? remember. Which one? East or? Green Bay East. Green Bay East? Yeah. Oh, to be picked? Yeah. They were picked 10th. Sheboygan South, 9th. Okay. Because I'm just thinking, you know, West beat them in overtime last week, and uh, I believe North plays them this year. Correct. And, uh, so it's one of those games I said, and I believe they have them. At, I think they got them here, too. Okay. Well, I, I can tell you right now, they do. No, they're at East on October 9th. Okay. But, uh. Well, you got the. You're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> 21-0. <Sheboygan> -0. Whistles uh, stopped this play. We don't know exactly what was. Let's call a timeout and make sure we got all the players out there. Doing the kicking was uh, Thai Zhang. And it's a penalty on North. They're going to. No, they're not. We don't know what the whistles were for. <laughs> but nobody was penalized. Ah, it was a hearing test. And everybody heard the whistle. <laughs> This one's gonna out, go of out of bounds. Jeez. 
And uh, North, pardon me, West will get it at the 35. All right, it's gonna be first and 10 for the West Wildcats. Ball will be spotted on the 35 yard line. It's uh, been all North this uh, this half, and I'll tell you the, the big reason that North is out in front is the turnovers. They got that first turnover by Mysupi and were able to uh, pound it down the field and score, and then uh, the interception by Stengel led to the second score for North. It's got to give the offense credit for going in there and sticking it, you know. Well, this last drive was really sweet. They yep. just moved the ball on the ground and then they hit him with the pass play. My Supi on the carry picks up maybe two yards. It's going to be second down for West. North going with a three-man front tonight. Uh, exchanged some emails with uh, Coach Brixen getting his starters in that, and he had mentioned about the possibility of going with a three-man front. And I suspect that has something to do with the pass play, passing of uh, West. Mysupi rolling, trying to get something, and he slides down. I don't know if they have that in high school football. But uh, coming up to uh, help make the stop was Tom Ross. Ross and Lewis were coming hard. If I was um, a Masupi, I'd slide too. I'm going down. <laughs> and especially since he's a baseball player, he yep. kind of knows how to do that. And Lewis and Ross are baseball players, so I kind of got on him there a little bit. It's going to be third down and about seven to go. Vertigan in the backfield with uh, my Supi. Hasn't had much of a chance to run the ball so far tonight. Pass up the middle is incomplete, and they're going to call pass interference. Well, Brady right away was saying, man, he was all over me. Christopher Urbanic on the uh, penalty. Uh, I'll tell you this, Chris. North has got a lot of penalties this quarter. <laughs> Let's see. I've got them for only one in the first quarter, but uh, they've made up for that. I see a lot of uh, PENs next to. Uh, well, they got penalty north, penalty two, north, three. penalty north, penalty north, penalty north, and there. That's five. Five and five and a half. No, excuse me. Seven and a half minutes. First and ten. Ball spotted at the 48 of North. My Supi rolling, chased by Stengels, passes away, Vertigan has the catch, and uh, gets it down to near the 40 yard line. It'd be a nice pickup. And a nice open field tackle again by Tom Ross. I liked him sending Stengel, use that speed. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that. And then uh, I also- Schermetzler, I believe that is? No, that's- that is Carl Ninehouse, I believe. Paul Supi. Gallner, I don't know who looking, that was. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, he slips by a couple of tacklers. Oh, good stiff arm that time. Boom! Good block by Brady. Oh. I'll tell you, getting hit hard was uh, Anthony Col Colwerts. Boy, it was a blindside block. It was legal. It was a good one. But uh, you know how you avoid that? Tackle my soupy in the black field. Don't yep. let him get away. He got it down to the 40. Actually, <laughs> all that running, he gained nothing. No gain. But it was exciting. Third down and two. They're going to have to stop him for two more plays. i got to imagine West is going to be going for it on fourth down if they don't get it here. Chris Lenz just checking them out, making yeah. sure that. Uh, Dart in the slot on this side. Brady is uh, the wide man. My Supi keeping it, and he's hit and wrestled down by Andy Rolsey. Good stop, Andy. Andy Rolsey and number 40, 
That's a loss of a yard. Tom Ross. Rosie's a big leader on that team. Yeah, I'm not, you know, he wrestled him down and grabbed him up high. I'm not sure that that was the greatest of tackles, but uh, let's put it this way, he definitely got the job done. Fourth down and uh, three. And whistle, timeout north. Not a bad time for that timeout, if they, especially if West is in a formation or not uh, familiar with. They did have three wide receivers off to the right, Chris, but uh, you know we've seen that plenty tonight. Well, interesting situation here. You know he's... My family camps. We just love it. But there's this bug. It's killing the trees. The emerald ash borer beetle has destroyed millions of trees. It lives in firewood. You move firewood, you spread the beetle. I promise not to move firewood. To burn it where I buy it. I promise. Will you promise? Learn more. Go to stopthebeetle.info and promise you won't move firewood. There you go. Hey, yeah. we're on TV. Yeah, I'm just doing a little math. Just doing a little That's math. That's your Brian. best shot of the night, Brian. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to say before uh, the break was that, uh, you know, Wes has got the short side to the right, but he's a left-handed thrower. So, you know, you would think he's going to come back this way towards the uh, north bench over here, but you never know. But I think he's going to do something getting out of the, the, the uh, pocket here. Levano Brady is uh, right in front of us on the line of scrimmage. They still have the three wide receivers off to the right. Maisupi on a pitch out. Vertigan is a hit near the line, of, near the first down marker, but sure. I don't think he made it. Send your offense out, Yellow. Just send them out. Just send the offense out. 2.45 remaining in the first half. Send the offense out. He did not get it. Picked up about two yards. That's why I said they should have passed. Well, so, if nothing else, you know, if you don't, if you get rushed or something, like you said, he scrambles, right? Because he's pretty good at it. Well, yeah, the, uh, I just saw, you know, run pass option there, especially with his feet and his athletic ability there. Fans are happy here at North High. Their team is up 21 to nothing, 2.45 remaining. Let's see how North handles this. Take care of the ball. Second back through is Gundrum and uh, he's pounding hard, gets it all the way up to the 45 yard line. Clock running. Pick up a six, makes it second and four. No turnovers. Shh. He's talking like that. Derek Van Calligan at quarterback. Done a good job tonight. Gundrum again. Slips by one tackler and uh, leans forward. He's only going to get credit for a yard. <laughs> hey, we've had this crew before, Marty. I never liked their spots. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he tried to sneak farther than that. So Walter would do it. He's always edging forward. Third down and three. Down to uh, 140 remaining. Here comes West. Hand off to Fries, trying to cut it up. He does, and I believe he's got the first down right at the 50 yard line. Good piece of running that time by Micah Fries. Got it into West Territory all the way to the 49-yard uh, line. There's a good block by Gundrum. Whoa. And a good run. Injury to the West player stops the clock. That's a break for North. First down and 10. Ball spotted on the 49. That was a pickup of five yards on that play. North at the line of scrimmage. Clock running, 120. Fries in motion. Fake, Fries is coming back. He's got a lot of room. He's to the 40, the 30, and knocked out of bounds at the 20. Good play by North. Had the motion going to the left and brought Fries, who went in motion to the left, back to the right for the big gainer. 
First and 10 Raiders, ball down at right on the 20 yard line. That was a 29 yard pickup, Chris. Yes, and he got out of bounds. Did everything right, just the way we coached him. <laughs> Stengel is the tight end on the right. Hand off to Fries again, he's having fun out there. Gets it down inside the uh, 15 yard line, under a minute now. No timeouts, Marty. Yeah, no you, timeouts does hurt, you're you right. You might have to put the ball up just to stop the clock. He got it now at midfield. I know Zhang's got a huge feet, or feet. He's got, good got kicking a leg. good leg. I mean, he almost kicked that you know, over the fence over here, but might have to throw the ball in case you have incompletions to stop the clock. Now you're at the middle, you don't have to do that, but they're gonna keep running. Fake, Van Calligan. Oh. Good defense that time by North. You know, they tried to, uh, I think they had, uh, they did have Stengel off on the left, Chris, on a crossing pattern or a down and out. But uh, Van Calligan was hit for a loss back to the 23. It's a loss of eight, nine yards on the play. Need a first down or an incompletion here. Well, it's got Lewis. Lewis comes back for the ball, but uh, it's jarred loose. A good defensive play by the uh, West defender, Casey Hagnow. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Field goal. He's gonna make it. He's got a good leg. Fourth down, there's uh, four seconds remaining. 39 yarder, Marty. The uh, ball is gonna be spotted we're placed down by McKnight hustling off. Boy, that's, he ran faster right there than he did when he was running for the touchdown. Well, guess what? Penalty north. north. Too many got too much time, or I don't know. Delay a game, they would call that. Yep. No, McKnight comes back on. What is going on, boys? Waving it off. All right, where's our little cheat sheet here? What does that hand across the chest mean? Legal substitution? Substitution withdrawal or something? 39, it's gonna make it, Marty. Good rush by West, they don't get to it. The boot is no good. What? Off to the right, but a great try and that's halftime. North goes into the locker room with a 21 to nothing lead over Green Bay West. Friends to hang out with and do nothing. Friends who show up on moving day. And then there are the friends who'll be there if someone is dealing with a mental illness. Are you one of those friends?
10. Back at North High School, we have some halftime statistics for you. Uh, in the first half, Sheboygan North rolled to uh, 179 yards. Uh, 99 of those on 25 carries rushing. Passing, they had uh, 80 yards on three for eight passing by Van Calligan. The big one was a 35 yarder to uh, Stengel for the touchdown. He also had a 25 yard catch earlier in the half. Uh, Green Bay West uh, did not do much on offense. They only had 82 yards total, 69 of those on seven for 12 passing with one interception. They only had 13 yards rushing, Chris, in 13 attempts. And the reason their total was so low is uh, Maisupi getting sacked. He had, uh, I think, three different plays where he uh, lost the yardage. He also had a 12-yard run in there, but uh, for the half, he finished uh, with seven carries and minus two yards. Uh, the big plays were the fumbles by Marsupi. Uh, the first one resulted in a possession for North that they marched in for a score. And then the second one was returned by Lucas McKnight, 74 yards for a touchdown. Uh, North has still got a play hard defensively. Uh, West is very explosive. You know, we saw some of that. Uh, they got to control uh, Brady. And Maisupi still is a weapon to be uh, contended with. Well, one thing that's, uh, that I think is important here, Marty, is... By the way, am I done talking now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, one thing that's important is that North does not turn over the ball and give easy possessions and situations for West to get back in it. They're going to get the ball first, I believe. And uh, what they do with that might be important. And there you got to see a very happy Coach Brixen. Uh, some good play calls, I thought, there, especially on that, you know, that the run was working, so you feed it, feed it, feed it, and then that play action pass there, good uh, fool in there by uh, DVC, and Stengel got away with one behind the, the uh, defensive backs there because, you know, they're watching the run. That and misdirection play was real nice oh, to uh, Fries, too. The, you think he had the a reverse there? Yeah. Or uh, misdirection or, you know, revert. Like you said, all the flow goes one way. You're hoping that the uh, defense goes the same way. And, uh, you know, totally caught West off guard there. Some first half rushing. Uh, Brennan Gundrum had uh, eight carries for 42 yards. Fries had uh, five carries for 39 yards. Uh, Conter, five carries for 12 yards. Uh, Van Calligan, seven carries for uh, six yards. Totals out to 99 total yards. There you see the Bells and Spaldings there and some other people. A lot of people are saying they thought they were on TV when I went and used the uh, facilities at halftime. And the facilities were a little, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, good first half for North. Uh, they played pretty good defense. Uh, they're still going to have to work on that tackling next week, but uh, heck, when you hold a team to uh, as little yardage as uh, West had, uh, they're doing something right defensively. 82 yards only for uh, West in the first half. Stengel is back deep along with uh, Brugink and uh, getting ready to uh, do the kicking for West is uh, Chris Saldana. This is a good thing. Yeah, it's, he finally gets a chance to kick off. It's a good thing if you're uh, cheering for the yellows. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Eleven, they got eleven. See, North got eleven. They got the right team out there. Yep, four, seven, eleven. Uh, not very deep. Bounces on about and picked up at the 20, and then he uh, went down to a knee, and uh, he's down at that point. That was num that was uh, Kevin Rivera on the uh, kickoff attempted kickoff return. I had Chris fooled a little bit. He was looking at my stat sheets, and he said West is red tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got West in red too. I got, uh... but I've got uh, North in red. Ball is spotted on the 22 yard line. And Calligan, Gundrum, and uh, well, Fries is in motion. Hand off to Gundrum. He's stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, good defensive play by West. I know it's kind of a broadcasting uh, cliche, but uh, how you start the third quarter, regardless if it's basketball or base, or excuse me, football. It's kind of important. It'll be interesting to see how North comes out 
and how West responds to uh, Coach Sidney, and uh, I'm sure he had a few choice words for his cats. Second down and 10. Stengel wide left. Pitch back to Gundrum. Tries to slip one tackle, but uh, he's met right at the line of scrimmage again, and uh, it looked like he might pick up some yardages. Uh, abruptly stopped. Wow. Pick up of a yard at time by Brennan Gundrum. Clock running. Just starting uh, second half action. North on top, 21 to nothing. And Calligan on a keeper, and he's blasted back in the backfield for a big loss. And uh, Ross is not going to have a lot of room to do his kicking. Each team had two punts, Marty, in the first half. Ross had a 40 and a 30 yarder. And uh, so probably put West in pretty good field position for their first offensive series here in the third quarter. Saivong, number 28, is uh, one of the deep backs. Ross, nice kick. And it gets a great bounce. And it's going to be touched down right at the 40-yard line. Kyle Wieser uh, was the other return man back there, but uh, made a good decision not to try and handle it. Kick was made from about the uh, 17, Chris. 19. Whatever. <laughs> it was a 41 yard. It is a 19. I can't read my own writing. It's a problem. <laughs> That's because you're not working anymore. You don't have to crunch numbers. Hey, I'm working all the time at home, cutting grass and watering the plants and all those important things that never got done when I was teaching. <laughs> First and 10 west. Wide receiver out to the right is uh, Visser. My Supi on the inside handoff to Vertigan, and he's uh, hit right at the 40 yard line. Down near the bottom of the pile is uh, Ross again. I saw the ball pop out too. Tanner Doctor, he landed on it, but they must have blown the whistle first. Andy Rolsey was also in there, number 35. It's a no gainer in either case. West having their troubles tonight. I'll uh, tell you, the turnovers have been uh, very crucial in the scoring of tonight's game. North uh, really capitalizing. Mysupi straight back. Screen pass to Vertigan. He's got the first down inside North Territory to about the 48 or 47 yard line. Nice play. Tanner Doctory wide open uh, tackle there again. Nice play there. Watch Tanner come up. From a safety spot, playing center field out there or the quarterback of the defense, makes a nice tackle. But you're right, I kind of liked the, uh, kind of liked what was going on there. 12 yard pickup, it's first and 10 west at the north high, 48. Well, they got the field spread, west does. They have three wide receivers right in front of us on the right side. Shifting over to the other side of Mysupi was Saldana. Mysupi fires a rocket right up the middle, but it's incomplete to Hepala. Should have had that one. Oh, he's a, he's a big target, Chris. He's right in his paws. Yeah, he goes 6'4", 190. Should have had it as right. Stops the clock with 8.39 remaining in the third quarter. North on top, 21 to nothing. Big 14 point first quarter. The scoring there was a result of turnovers and then uh, they made a real nice drive in the second quarter and capitalized on a 35 yard pass to uh, Stengel for the third touchdown. Heppel in the slot on the right. Mysupi dancing, he's got time, a lot of time. Now he's rushed and has to throw the ball away. Good pressure up front by uh, Andy Rolsey. Better coverage downfield by the yellow team. He had a long time to sit back there, but 
none of the receivers could get open. And again, let's uh, give kudos where it belongs there. Good secondary help and the linebackers dropping back there a little bit as well. Third down, ball spotted on the north 48. It's fourth and 10. North operating with a three-man front and going with uh, eight linebackers and defensive backs against uh, the pass-happy Wildcats. A little more pressure that time. Mysupi steps up, he's gonna run it. And he's got the first down before he's finally pushed back at about the 36 or 37 yard line. And a late flag comes out to see what that's all about. I think they're gonna get uh, a late hit here. The whistle blew and uh, they did not uh, let go. They're gonna get uh, Connor Stengel on that one. You know, it's tough when you're going hard, 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 and then all of a sudden... Uh, well, and the quarterback or the runner, whoever it is, is, you know, struggling forward. Yep. But uh, another penalty on North, and we counted these up at halftime. And, of course, this is unofficial, but North had six penalties in the first half, five of those coming in the second quarter. Now they pick up another one here, and it's a big one. Takes the ball all the way down to the 21-yard line. Oh, man. 15-yarder. First and 10 west, and they're on the move. Key play in the drive so far was a 12 yard completion for a first down. Mysupi looking, has room. Now he's rushed and he's dropped. Tanner, safety blitz me. Uh oh. Okay. I hope they don't get him for too much celebrating because that was kind of, shouldn't be the call. Anyway, my Supi is dropped for a loss back to the 28-yard uh, line. There's the replay. Loss of seven. Good replay here. Oh, we're not going to see it. I don't know. I don't think there was Tanner. That could have been Chris Urbanic, maybe. Is it on North? We're going to see the call here. Roughing the passer? Oh no. Oh, intentional grounding. Intentional grounding. They called Marty. Okay, uh, as he was getting sacked. Yeah, must have thrown it away. Penalty on West is going to make it uh, second down and uh, 20, I believe. Ball out to about the 31-yard line. I think that was Chris Urbanic that made that play, Marty. Good play by Chris. A good rush there by uh, Ross, and uh, Mysupi's hit as he lets it go. Making the hit was uh, our old friend Lucas McKnight showing that burst of speed. Good pressure there by uh, Gutowski, too, up the middle. West has basically decided that the running game is not, not non-existent, so they're just sitting back there and trying to pick apart North. And so far, North countered with good defensive play, both on the line and in the D-backs. Uh, Brady is wide to the right. Heppel is one of the uh, slot receivers on the right, on the left, actually. Quick out to Brady. He's going to run like the wind, but uh, you get him out of bounds. Oh. He's dangerous, Chris. You always got to hold your breath a little bit when he gets the ball. But it's going to be fourth down and a bunch for West. He does have good feet. A very short gain on that uh, play. Fourth and 19. Yep. They're going to try it again here. Brady now split out wide to the left. This should uh, help my Supi if he wants to roll out that side and look for him. Heppel is in the slot on the right side. My Supi straight back going to the end zone. Nobody back there from the white team, and it's incomplete. North will take over. You, what, did you see those defensive backs, what they did? Smart. Well, they kind of blocked them, and then they held their hands up. That's what I do at tennis, so you can't see if it's in or out. Their point was, don't intercept it. We'd rather have the ball on the uh, 30 yeah. than on the 20. 
Okay, first and 10 for North. Chris mentioned it's on the 30 yard line. Good defense by North that time. Good field position for the Wildcats, especially after that uh, penalty. And uh, this time the North defense really stepped up. Gundrum, Connor, and Freeze. Inside handoff and uh, going nowhere was uh, Gundrum. Boy, he got stacked up in the backfield for a loss. Wes picking it up. He got hit about the minute he got the ball. Yeah. I shouldn't say minute. Second. The second he got the ball. You're right. Second down for the Raiders. Clock running. 7-15 it's going to be in the third quarter. Wes blitzing. Conter uh, gets those couple yards back that Gundrum lost. It's going to be third and ten. Good call for the blitz coming there. Well, the one thing it does do, Chris, is run the clock, but you're certainly not uh, controlling the line of scrimmage like you did in the first half. Stengel is wide to the left. We still have uh, two backs in the backfield, faked by Van Calligan, and uh, West was on to him, and he's hit for a loss. Be nice if they could tack on a few first downs to uh, run some clock, but uh, that's not going to happen. Loss of three on the play. Two consecutive uh, drives that uh, West really uh, stepped up and uh, shut down that running game. DVC has nowhere to go. You know, you got that ball's on the 27. Chris is going to see how long his punt is. Tom Ross has uh, done a great job punting and uh, you get the name of that center snapper because he's done an excellent job too. Ball goes out of bounds. Quick whistle, didn't uh, get much of a bounce that time. John Gullner has been uh, the center on offense and uh, not sure if he's doing the uh, long snapping tonight but uh, whoever that young man is has uh, done a great job. Ball spotted on the 47. 26 yard punt maybe? 26 yard punt there, Marty. I gave you the answer. <laughs> First and 10 west. My soupy's still at the controls. A quick out to Dart, and uh, he darts out to uh, near the 40-yard line. A good pickup that time. You know, I'm just not comfortable yet, Marty. No, me either. I just don't like the ball always being on, you know, in Raider territory. The first two drives went nowhere. Eight-yard pickup on that play makes it second down and two. Another quick pass, this one to uh, Dart again, and he gets it down to the 40, maybe a little bit inside, might be down to the 39. But uh, they're chipping away now. It's gonna be a first down for West. They're gonna spot it just inside the 40. We'll call it the 40, make it another five yard pickup. Brian in there again. Getting good shots of the offense now sitting down and talking. Visser out here on the right. Fake handoff to Vertigan. Deep pass, incomplete. Brady not quite able to catch up with that uh, deep throw. So far in the quarter, my soupy is a four out of nine for 26 yards. Trotting off the field for North is a big number 72, Nick Gatowski. John Jones, 77, takes his place. My soupy looking 
Fires a short pass to uh, Brady and he makes the catch. A uh, stop was made by Norse Christopher Urbanic. Third down and about four. Pick up a six on the play. What well, that Heppel is a big target out there, Chris. Yes, he is. You know, hardly throw to him at all. What'd you He's say? He's open right in the middle. Oh, right through his hands. It's twice. <laughs> yep, you got to make those catches. I think I mentioned this in the first half. He was their leading receiver last year. There you go. Wow. Yeah, the pass, well, I should have had it, I guess. <laughs> Looked like it might have been a little bit off the mark, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> Fourth down and four. Can they stop him again? Well, timeout or whistle blows north calling a timeout. Prior to the play. There's 433 remaining. North on top, 21 to nothing. And uh, West has a fourth and four. Going after the first down, they've uh, pretty much controlled the ball in the third quarter. North has only run uh, three, six plays and two punts. The rest has been uh, all west. Fortunately for the Raiders, they have not scored. It's all been on this side of the field too, as I mentioned, Marty. Our next broadcast, uh, before you go too far, Chris, is uh, we'll be covering Lutheran, Kohler, Christian combo team. They will be playing Elkhart Lake. That's uh, next Friday, and the game will be played at Kohler. We'll be out there. A one and all. That's right. They Crusaders. beat uh, Hope School last week in uh, what must have been a very exciting game. They ran a ton of yards. A lot of rushing. Lots of rushing. My soupy back. He's looking. And a screen play to Vertigan. He cuts it back, good weave, and finally he's knocked down, but not until he got the first down. Making the stop for the Raiders was uh, Tanner Doctory. Now there's a name we haven't called a lot tonight. And, yeah. uh, Tanner's a good football player. Yeah, normal, which is a good thing <laughs> not to be calling his name. He's made a couple tackles, but uh, you know you don't always want your uh, safety back there making all the tackles, but a uh, few missed again there, and uh, because of that, Coming out of the game. 11 yard pickup. Vertigan's got two catches in the quarter, one for 12 and one for 11. 4.06 remaining in the third. North on top, 21 to nothing. A good rush by Ross, but picked uh -oh. up. And uh, making the catch was Brady. How can you no. leave that guy so wide open? It was Dart. It was Dart. Dart? Yep, you're right. Dart. Even so. Good catch by Dart. That was a 23 yard touchdown pass. My Soupy's been busy here in the quarter. You're going to see a replay of it. My Soupy faking a little handoff. Ross with a good rush, but uh, good blocking by Vertigan to uh, keep My Soupy from being touched and uh, made a nice throw. I don't know what's going on here. Dart is uh, wants to kick it. My Supi, I think, wants to hold it. Gatowski trotting in. Coming off is uh, John Jones. It's 21 to six, North. Uh, a two touchdown lead might not be enough. Good snap, kick is up and good. And uh, with 3.55 remaining in the third, North on top, 21 to seven. America invites you 
to participate in the fourth annual Walk for Suicide Awareness and Prevention on Saturday, September 19th, beginning at Odyssey Fun Center in Sheboygan Falls. Participants will walk a two, five, or 10 mile route along the scenic Plank Road Trail. There will be food, information, and unique items in the silent auction. Check out MHA's website for more information. Those registered by September 11th will receive a commemorative t-shirt. Hope to see you there. By Saldana. North on top, 21 to seven. West breaking through in third. Not a very deep kick, picked up at about the 18. Stengel trying to no. cut it back. No, it isn't Stengel. And we got some running room by the North return man, Kevin Rivera. Good job. Yeah, Rivera on a good return. North will have it first and 10. Forty? Yeah, that's what it looks like. You know what I like about that, Marty? It's not on the 20 or the 15 or the 10. That's Get right. these guys pushed the whites onto the other side of the field. We haven't seen them on the north end all half. Gundrum, one of the backs, fries in motion. Hand off to Conter, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage. There's no boy, oh boy, they're not doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Nope. Though. The boys up front got to create some holes, and there's there hasn't been any here. Nothing. You got, can't be content with what you did in the first half. Second down and 12. Full house backfield for North right now. Gundrum bobbing and weaving and gets nothing. Hit at the line of scrimmage and stopped. And basically all North is doing right now is uh, running the clock down somewhat. That's not enough. Clock running, 250 remaining in the third quarter, and uh, if they stop them here, Chris uh, West is going to get good field position again. Jake Stengel splitting out to the uh, left side. Fries going wider right. Left, I mean. Right up the middle. Not enough. I think that was Conter on the carry. Gonna be fourth down. Chris is holding out his hands like, that's all. Ross back deep to uh, do the punting chores. Aldana and uh, Saivong, whoa! Good hand by Tommy. Yeah, and he got the kick away, not very far, but uh, much better than if it goes oh over his boy. head. Oh boy, and a t good and, roll. Yeah, but they're gonna mark it out at the 40 yard line. Looked like he might have got it down inside the 30, but uh, that's not the case. Well, Chris, this is not a good thing. North has had trouble this quarter with the uh, West passing game. You know what's weird, Marty? I, you know, I keep here, you'll see a nice grab there by Tommy Ross. You know, I keep ta track of time and possession. It's identical so far. Each it took two minutes. But that's because West is passing, and, you know, basically North right. is three and out. They've taken them out the same amount of time. If you look at my sheet, West oh. easily has uh, two to three times as many plays. Correct. And uh, they are seven for 14 passing. Yeah, this and is. And they've only run the ball three times, so uh, it's 17 plays they've run. Yeah, Norse had the ball for 206, 152, and 211. It's a two to one ratio, basically. 17 plays to uh, eight plays for North. Yep, yeah, and uh, not counting punts. Right, and West, this is their third possession. They've had it two minutes and two minutes also, but the yardage and the everything seems to be flowing the other way, and. Oh boy, out on an island out here. 
with Brady as the North defender. Pitch back to uh, Vertigan and uh, he gets it out near the 50. Good running that time by uh, Ryan Vertigan. One of the few runs that West has done. And uh, we have a penalty. Penalty on West holding, I believe it was. Well, that's a big one. Yes, sir. North will take it, too. So that would have been, what, an eight, nine yard gain? Well, it's closer to a 10 yarder. Sheesh. Break, big break. Well, that. It's going to remain first down, but uh, the ball is going to be spotted on the 32. So it's going to be first and 18. Penalties are marked off from where the infraction occurred. That's why it's not uh, 10 yards back from the line of scrimmage. Uh-oh, here we go, Marty. Deep Nunweiler out on an island with Brady, and nobody can make the catch. And uh, Brady talking to Nunweiler, and uh, that uh, official could have stepped in there and possibly thrown a flag for unsportsmanlike conduct. I didn't like that pass when it was thrown. Well, Nunweiler's out there all by himself. I mean, he's out on an island with one of the fastest guys on the field. Another hanky on the field, though. Uh-oh. Well, I don't think it's going to be uh, pass interference. It might be holding in the backfield. Yep. Oh, nope, nope. Which way are we going? Well, they're all looking to the south, which is not a good thing. It's being marked off against North High. Roughing the passer. Oh, boy. Oh, cry. Going to be first down and 10. Ball is spotted on the 46. Pitch back to uh, Vertigan, and he's cut down right at the line of scrimmage. Well, you like it when they run the ball a little bit, Chris. That helps uh, run the clock. There's a uh, 1-10 remaining in the third quarter. Uh, this again seems like a long quarter with all the passing. Yep, Tommy Ross with the play there. Again, saw Nick Katowski over there. Second down for the uh, West Wildcats. Dunweiler out here on Brady. Lovano, uh, not touch the ball as much as uh, I'm sure he would like to. Stengel coming up the middle <laughs> and uh, passes who? incomplete to Heppola. <laughs> he was hearing the yellow footsteps that time. You could just tell it. Oh my. Big target like that. I'd like to get him the ball a little more. Monday, he gets about 200 balls from one of those football things that shoot out at you. <laughs> Vroom, catch that. We won't see you till Tuesday because this is what you're doing the entire practice. During gym class, you will be down <laughs> taking fastballs. Third down and 10. That's about at least three, if not four drops for him. Yeah, three for sure. Brian's trying to get a picture of the uh, fans just in front of us. Yeah, trips out to the left, Chris. Brady's alone on this side. Stengel up the middle, passes complete. Brady making a great catch. Right on the coverage for North was Sean Glover, but uh, boy, that was a fine catch. And Glover was right there too. Almost like he pulled back a little bit to make sure yes. he didn't commit the uh, pass interference. Yes. 13 yard pickup. Third catch this quarter by uh, Brady. Lavano Brady. North continues in the three man front on defense. Maisupi faking to the right, goes left, and great defensive play out there. 
Is that Nunweiler out there? No, Stengel with a nice play. Stengel with the Jake great Stengel. coverage. See the uh, results of that Boise State, Oregon, that guy that made the connection. You see what he got for a punishment? No. Done. Season's over. I think it's appropriate, actually, especially yes. given his uh, history. Yep. You know, unfortunately, you know, you hate to say that, but uh, you know, you bring that on yourself. Yeah. Punched a player after a college football game last night. And that was the big talk on uh, ESPN. Second down and ten. Ball on about the 40, 41 yard line. Oh wow! Straight to uh, Vertigan. Yep. And uh, he takes it right up the middle. That's going to be the end of the quarter. Ball is going to be spotted on the 36. So pick up a five. At the end of three quarters of play, North on top, 21 to seven. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Back at North High School, as we start fourth quarter action, in the quarter, West was eight of 18 passing for uh, 79 yards. They did have nine rushing yards and five attempts. The big story is North had minus five yards and eight carries that quarter. Third down and five, Mysupi rushed hard, rushed again, rushed again, throws it, and it's incomplete. Who was he throwing to? A north defender. That's the only person that was over there. Ashley Day there, good pursuit, number seven. Fourth down and five. Ball is on the 36 yard line. West uh, really controlled the ball in the third quarter. They ran uh, five and 18 is 23 plays in that wow. quarter. One stop will be big here, one stop. My soupy standing there, fires it <gasps> deep over the middle. Oh, Brady's no. wide open. He's gonna get uh, into the end zone touchdown. We got a ball game, Marty. 36 yard touchdown pass, my soupy to Brady. And uh, it just amazes me how a kid like that, you know how dangerous he is, can be left so open. Yeah, how do you get someone behind you? You can't let anyone behind you. Well, you were right when you said way back when, I'm not real comfortable with a three touchdown lead. Dart is waiting for uh, my soupy to uh, get the tee. It's at this time it's 21 to 13. Dart uh, picked that last one strong and deep, and he did the same thing with this one. It's good. With 11:43 remaining in the fourth quarter, Norris still on top, but now they're only up seven, 21 to 14.
They just can't, uh, I'm not against going with the run because it works so well, but they're really up there taking that away. And West has made some adjustments in the yeah. second half. I'm not sure what they are, but uh, if he stood in the halftime locker room and said stop them, they're doing it. Yeah, well, they haven't thrown, and there hasn't been any misdirection plays. There hasn't been any. No change. diversity, you're no. right. And uh, taken at the 16. Big return here. And that a boy. Battling forward. Look Still battling up over the 40 yard line is Kevin Rivera. Every, Good, strong run. Every time he touches the ball, he's right there. There was a kick before Marty. I didn't mention him. When uh, North kicked off and kicked it out of bounds, mm -hmm. he popped somebody on the side on the <laughs> kickoff team, even though it was out of bounds. I mean, he's been in the game the whole time. He's having fun, in other words. Yes. Good field position again for North, and uh, good thing is you're still up by seven, boys. Let's play like we got the lead. Rivera's a fullback. Maybe they ought to use him in the backfield a little bit. Fry's in motion. Stengel wide to the left, and a motion Movement. penalty on North, and that's the last thing they needed. That one was, was to start from 15 yards back instead yeah. of only 10. Not time they got Fletcher. Oh, boy. They're making it tough on themselves. They have no first downs in the second half. We mentioned that the, they gained uh, almost no yards in the quarter. Uh, matter of fact, <laughs> minus five. Yeah. <clears throat> so it was worse than no yards. And Callaghan still at the controls. Little inside fake motion. The lefty looking deep. He's got Stengel, but overthrew him. Oh man, he was wide open. The North, the West defenders, did the same thing that uh, North did before. The only difference is uh, Van Calligan was not able to hook up with his wide receiver. Hagano, and I believe that's 21. Astano from uh, West, the two safeties. They're clapping and all this. You know what? You guys almost got burned. <laughs> exactly. By the way, that Hayden Astano, he led the league in uh, hitting for uh, last year for the. Uh, FRCC. Oh, oh man. man. Come on, you guys. Where's the concentration? Jeez. Another penalty on the Raiders. Well, once again, they had a good field position and two, was it two drives in a row or two of the last three drives backwards on penalties? Hey. Some, some happy Raider fans. Yeah. We're winning. Third down and 20. Little inside reverse handoff to Fries. He punches up over the 30. It's going to be fourth. No, down. third. And third 50, down. Third and 15. The penalty was this. It's right. still second. So uh, uh, you're right, Chris. Fries in motion, Stengel wide to the left. Both safeties back at where the first down is. That's good D. And Calligan looking, jump throw is complete to Stengel. He needs a couple more yards. He's got it, and then he stood up and pushed back at about the 46-yard line. But a good pass and catch by Van Calligan and Stengel. I like that for a number of reasons. One, you got a first down. Two, you got Van Calligan out of the uh, pocket. And three, you found your best receiver, Stengel. First down. 18-yard pickup, and now they put the play in motion. They're going to stop action. Yeah, I think Lewis went down, went up, yeah, and went down. Okay, I thought they might have even called it on uh, Fries for going in motion too soon before the ball was put in play. Hey, guys. I Pat and Mary are here. Yeah, I saw them in the yard before. I saw this big, hairy dog in your yard before. <laughs> But I knew what it wasn't your son. <laughs> <laughs> There's Patrick. Mary, step over a little bit. <laughs> All right, we got first down and 15 for the Raiders. Fries in motion. Fake, they're coming back. A little mix up in the backfield, but uh, Fries has some running room. Boom. 
He's hit back right at the line of scrimmage, but uh, that was that same play they ran before, but uh, a little mix up in the backfield. I think it was the right play call, Marty, but it just uh, got slowed up by the uh, exchange. And it looked like it was gonna clear for things like that. There's Mary. <laughs> That was a five-yard pickup. This makes it uh, second down and 10. Boy, that was a huge first down before Marty. I love that first down. There's another good Quick hit. Quick pass. Lewis struggling forward, gets it down near the first down. He's going to be a little bit short. But a good little change of pace to go to the other receiver, Eric Lewis. There pickup he is. of uh, you get uh, stoppage of play. Ball is going to be spotted on the 37. I think they're going to be a yard or two short. Haven't used Lewis all day, so that was a nice, nice call there. You know, maybe the linebackers and stuff lose track of him a little bit, and all of a sudden there he gets a nice wide open. Very efficient play, and uh, we need a first down. Quick hitter there, DVC, right up the middle. Right up the middle, DVC. Well, the thing is, they don't get it here, they'll go for it on fourth. And uh, Fry's struggling forward. He's got it inside the 35. It's a first down north. Good running play. Norris starting to get a little bit of a push now, and I think a lot of that is a result of what you're talking about. Mix it up a little bit. Well, this drive started at 11.43, and, you know, everybody in uh, the house says, oh, we need a big drive here. We need a first down. Well, Stengel made that nice catch from DVC, and now we got another first down, and the hop is... It's back in the, of the uh, Raiders here. Ball spotted on the 34. Fry's in motion. Fake the, in the backfield. Oh, Van Calgan rolling. And uh, good defensive play out there by Green Bay West's Riley Bacon to come up and uh, stop Van Calgan. Well, when you watch that play on film tomorrow, you're going to like the fact that... Uh, Stengel was wide open there over the middle, but uh, Jacob, sometimes, uh, you know, DVC's got to protect himself and get out of the pocket and run a little bit. Uh, I'm sure he would have liked to hit you there. Pickup of one yard on the play. Makes it third, second down and nine. Inside handoff to Conter. He's pretty much bottled up right there. That's Conter's first uh, carry of the quarter. And Calligan coming over, timeout north. Good timeout there. With uh, 8.16 remaining north on top, 21 to 14. Let's take a short break. Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you want to get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a balance. Oh, no, you can do uh, better. Stick it under the mattress. <laughs> You want Getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. Back at Urban Field at North High School where uh, Raiders trying to hang on. There's 8.16 remaining in the quarter. There you see Big Harry Sidney on the other sideline. He's got his team playing football in the second half. They didn't look like much in the first half, but uh, they've definitely got it changed around now. It's going to be third down. I think there's a big play in the football game, Marty. If you can get a first down here, you can run a couple minutes off the clock. If you don't, West is going to get the ball with plenty of time left, and uh, they've been moving the ball on offense, so you don't want them to get it back. And Calligan straight back looking. Has his receiver. Fry's breaking around the end. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, good burst of speed by Micah Fry's. He caught it on the crossing pattern and took it into the end zone. I kept waiting for a West defender to knock him out, but there was no, he just, like you said, he just took off running and there was nobody there. Nice play call. Amazing what you can do when you throw the football a little bit, Marty. Yeah, really. Great drive by the uh, North coaching staff and the boys 
to get it done. Well executed. Well, the other thing it does is it takes a little bit of the steam out of the West Wildcats. We'll get a replay of that in just a second. Extra point is up. And no good. Oy, oy, oy. Don't like that. But North is on top, 27 to 14. I'd like to see where Fry started off. I think he might have been in the, you know, wide, not necessarily wide, but on the uh, left side and came across. We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs are making it happen. <laughs> Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding around the world. Rotary, humanity in motion. There you see the Raiders cheering it up. Their team on top, 27 to 14. Van Calligan to Fries, a 32 yard touchdown pass is uh, spark the Raiders. Let's hope that they can uh, keep the spark and uh, win the football game. Fry Zhang getting ready to do the kicking. As I said before, a great drive. Well needed drive and uh, oh no, again? Oh. Well, I don't like it either, Chris, but the reality of it, you keep it out of the hands of yeah, that's true. Levon, Levon O'Brady. Put another notch down for a north penalty. That's one, two, three this quarter. And two, three, I got him for nine. Third quarter, one more, two more. That gives them 11. 11 penalties in the ball game, Patrick, for North. There you see the story on the scoreboard. Brady right in front of us on the left side of the formation. Slots on either side, two wide receivers either side. Maisupi not been rushed much. He's taken off with it. He's gonna have a first down. And uh, Dart with a great hit on uh, North High's Ashley Day. He felt that one. Well, Dart kind of ran that pattern before. It kind of looped out of the back, almost kind of, kind of like a wheel route. And uh, this time, North had that very well defended, but on the counter left a, a lot of running room. But I'd rather take that run there than the, the long, deep pass. They're not getting much pressure with the three-man front, and they're not blitzing. They're dropping their men back mostly, although now linebackers creep up. Ross is coming on the rush. He gets blocked quite well. Uh-oh. Throw is away, and in and out of the hands of Visser. Kyle Visser trying to make the catch, and uh, wasn't quite able to make the adjustment. Good coverage there. Yeah, the other thing that looked a little dangerous was the official kind of went down in a funny way too as he uh, ran down to make the coverage. Second down. At least I think I saw that, didn't I? Yep. It was a good football game here last night, Marty. Uh, Sheboygan North and South JVs played an overtime game. South won by one when uh, North went go. for two after they scored. So good, good uh, battle there. Second down and 10. Maisupi looking, fires it right over the middle. Dart has it and he's hit immediately and pushed back. Pass is complete down into North Territory at the 46. What I think they wanted to do there was hold him up so Day could come over there and give him a shot too. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop him long enough for me to get there. And yeah, after uh, Dart gave that big blow before. Hanky on the field, though. Oh, not again. I Just got all the stats written down. I think they're Roughing going. Roughing the passer? No way. No, no, no. That's going to be a 15-yarder if that's again? the case. I, I didn't see that. If we had it on replay, I could maybe yeah, see it. Show it again, Kerry. You know, we never did see that touchdown play to uh, Fries either. 
Stop walking. God. Down to the 31. Second rough in the passer. Uh, Here we're going to see it. Let's take a look at uh, my Supi. He's going to be the recipient of the uh, roughing. Oh, a headshot. That's a good call. Good, good uh, replay there. First down on the 31. My Supi straight back. Gutowski getting through. Screen pass to Vertigan. He cuts it back, slips another tackle. He's down inside the 10 and wrestled down near the goal line. Oh man, this is getting to be a little too exciting, Mr. Wright. And there's still 724, that's what I don't like about this. This drive started at the 807 mark, 30 seconds and they're all the way down the field. First and goal, ball spotted on the one yard line. That's a 30 yard pickup. Clock will start rolling though. It'll be interesting to see what they do here. They haven't run much, and they've always run out of the shotgun. This time, my Supi is uh, under center. The fullback and a halfback, they give it to Vertigan. And uh, he's into the end zone. He fell in, and North is not happy. They thought they had him stopped. But the official said no. Give Kyle Vertigan a one-yard gain and a touchdown. Let's watch it here. I know Tanner Doctory got in there. Yeah, oh, oh, he definitely was not in there. Unless he reached the ball for that we couldn't see, but man. Big extra point. Oh, well, oh, good. Good. 21 for West, 27 for North. They're still up six, but there's 7 one remaining in the ball game. us here. We need to stop them at the source by locking down the materials. There is something you can do to protect America. Visit saferworld.org. Be part of stopping a catastrophe before it happens. Coming late again next week too. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, back at Urban Field, right alongside North High School, where the Raiders lead it 27-21 in what has been an extremely entertaining football game. Um, you know, West was dead in the water in the first half, but I'll tell you, they've made it a lot of fun here in the second half. I'll give them that. And I hope that missed extra point doesn't come back to haunt the uh, Raiders. Pressure's back on the offense. Oh, there's a great kick. Taken by Norris Rivera. I like this. Boom! Out of way to lower his shoulder. I like that young man. He lowered his shoulder just at the right time. Made a good return. Five and nine. actually made a great catch. 5'9", 155. Uses every... He runs like he's heavier than 155, I'll yep. say that. Well, unfortunately, the pressure's back on the offense here. Their drive was 336. There you see that. Well, West was a minute six. and uh, Good replay on that one. Did not expect West to score so quickly. We're still waiting for that touchdown by <laughs> Fries. Oh. Well, let's get one right here. Fries in motion going from uh, right to left. A little flip out to Gundrum, and uh, he slips one tackler, slips another tackler, and picks up maybe a yard or two. It looked like about a three or a four yard loss turns into a gainer. This is a situation after every play, Coach Brixton looks at the clock. 6.40, okay. Well, next time it'll be about six minutes. It's like the clock. There he looks right now. <laughs> it's like the clock is never running. Yeah, he just it's one looked. Of those kind of deals. It's the same with us up here in the booth. You mean there's six and a half left? Actually, no, a 6.20. Fries in motion again. Ben Calligan straight back, tries to step up. Jump pass is complete. Nice play. I think that was Fries again. Yes. 
making the catch. He went in motion from right to left, and we've got a West player down, and the clock stops. Number nine. And uh, again, we don't have him on the program. We don't know his name. Ball is going to be spotted in West Territory at the 47. Yep. 15 yard play. DVC cannot go to the sidelines on an injury timeout. You cannot go uh, to, to the coaches. So, you know, you can stand by a ways here and get told here. This is one of those you get the play, go back and talk to the boys. Okay, you know, if you're DVC, we need the, you know, a nice little drive here. Let's run some clock, get a couple first downs, and we'll win this one. And some of us are going to go get an interview from Coach Wright. That's what they're saying right now. <laughs> I hope it's me. <laughs> coach, <laughs> Coach, when we win this game, can I be interviewed? <laughs> get out there and play defense. <laughs> But no, this is where you got to talk to the boys and say, hey, let's take care of the football. Let's pound some first downs. If, if you're DVC, you want to control that huddle right now, and you can smell the victory. Now let's just bring it home, boys. Protect me, protect me. 6 -0. Well, there's just 6.20 left in the game, and there's still 6.05 left. Tai Zhang uh, warming up. Great shot there by Brian. You know, he's got the leg. But he's, uh, sometimes the accuracy hasn't always been there. And you're right, good shot by Brian. All righty, first and 10 north, clock running. Rolling down to a 5.50 remaining in the ball game. That's more like it. Van Calligan straight back, jump pass is complete. Uh, I didn't catch that receiver. Number five is Conter. I like that play, nice safe pass. And it's keep completed. it in bounds. Keep it in bounds and it's completed. It's nice to have Eric back upstairs too. He was back, oh, gone last week. He's on the upper camera. Give him a four yard pickup. It's second and six. Now this is where, never mind. I'll tell you after this play, Marty. Fries in motion, lone back is Conter. Well, crossing action in the middle of the line. They tried to pull a lineman, and West was coming hard and uh, just bottled up the play right from the start. It's going to be a loss of a couple yards, and we get a timeout by West. Smart timeout by Coach Sidney. It's going to be third and eight. Loss of three. Yeah, I was going to say before, Marty. two. Before, before, Marty. Now you have some coach that's keeping track, you know. The second, watching the second clock, so you know you can run off some more time. You don't have to hustle up to the, the line of scrimmage. You can, you know, and watch for your coach to put it in bounds or put the ball in play, you know, so you don't get a delayed call. I think you're gonna have to go to the uh, roll out and throw, run throw option well, you here. You mentioned again. this uh, earlier in the ball game with, uh, I think it was my soupy, but. Uh, the short side of the field is going to the left, and uh, with Van Calligan being a lefty, it's gonna, he's not going to have as much field to operate with. It's where you get something like you had before where you had you know, somebody coming back across the field like Freeze or Conter or you know, something to that degree coming back towards this way with a pass. Lyman, you got a block here. Well, what North tried to do on that last play is a little misdirection with a line pull, and uh, with West coming, as soon as that uh, lineman for North pulled out, there was a West guy barreling past the line of scrimmage, and that's what bottled up the play. Third down and eight. Gundrum in motion. Fake handoff. Van Calligan. Whoa! Falls down and is tackled by the West defender, and it's gonna be fourth down. Making the stop was uh, Colin Williamson. I think that uh, coming back across the body was the sting, Mario, that we yeah, mentioned. he's gonna have a real hard time throwing that pass any, you know, any length down the field. Ball is spotted at the 48, a loss of three on that play. Again, uh, it's gonna be fourth down. Ross in the ball game. And they got Brady back now, returning punts, Chris. Lovano, Brady, number one. Oh, oh no. We need some blocking, boys. He can get it away. He does. 
It's not going to be a great punt. West will get it in pretty good field position near the 35-yard line, but, uh, boy, that could have been disastrous had uh, West been uh, rushing the house. Well. Yeah. 4-11 remaining in the ball game. It's uh, first and 10, Green Bay West at the 46-yard line. Pardon me, the 36. And uh, we've seen how explosive West can be. And uh, Stengel is out here guarding Brady. And the other, the other Stengel is the other guy. Short pass to Brady. He's got it for a short gain. It's going to be up over the 40. Know where those guys are, Tanner. Know where those guys are. Second down. That's where you got to get some safety help, I think. Ball spotted on the 42, a pickup of six. Those guys have been basically doing all the work. Second down. West, as they've been doing the whole game, spreading the field, and they got the two most dangerous guys over on our side, Dart and Brady. My Supi looking, stepping up, he's hit, and dropped in the backfield, back at the 40. Whoa. Making the initial hit was Rolsey. Yes. Big play. Big, big pay play there by Rolsey. Here you see it. Steps up. Boom. That time North brought pressure. You know, most of the uh, quarter they have not been blitzing. That time they didn't. It paid off big time. Timeout by West. They only have one remaining, Chris, with a 322. That could uh, play into this. One and three, one and three, one and three. Where's one and three? That's all I want to know. <laughs> exactly. Where's one and three? Hey, no hitting. What are you doing, you knucklehead? One and three, one and three. There's a fan in front of us hitting a girl. Three twenty-two remaining, north on top, 27-21. Well, West has uh, played much better in the second half. Uh, north has uh, stepped it up uh, ever since Mr. Wright told uh, Mr. Brixen to uh, mix it up a little bit on offense. North has uh, played better. One and three, one and three. Where are they? Are we going to blitz this time? Stangle's coming. is up. Stangle's coming. They bring a couple of them that time. My Supi trying to roll. McKnight Get it. had good pressure. Intercepted yes. by Ross. Big. Tom Ross with a big catch, and McKnight forced the interception by putting a lot of pressure on Tyler My Supi. That's right. I think that was the key, the pressure. That is a huge turnover. Pressure by McKnight. He had to force it. Here you're going to see the replay. Stengel took one blocker away, and then uh, McKnight fought off his blocker. And oh, Ross going up high. That was the catch we saw on that one bad snap for the punt. Good play, Tommy Ross. Two hands on the ball, saw it all the way in. First and 10, ball on the 48. North has it, 314 remaining. Full house backfield, hand off to Gundrum. Cuts it back up Ooh. the middle and picks up about four or five yards. A nice run and a little bit of extracurriculars. Boys, just go back to the huddle. Christopher Collin, you don't have to prove you're a man. Play football. Timeout West. Three minutes. And that's their last one. Three minutes uh, left in the uh, ball game. Good hard run there by Gundrum. You saw his leg pounding there and things. Ball is spotted on the west 47 yard line. It's a pickup, give him five yards on that play. Our next broadcast is going to be next Friday when Elkhart Lake plays uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian at Kohler High School. 
Camera guys are like going up the roof there. It's yeah. straight up. They don't have the bleachers yet either. Yeah, I heard that. Coach Brixen did the right thing. He's talking to the official. Who am I supposed to watch for the warning? So Coach Brixen's all over that, about that 30-second clock, and uh, very good decision there by all Coach righty. Brixen is to get these guys ready. Second and five, handoff to Fries, cutting it up, battling forward. He's going to be near the first down. I think he's got it, Chris. He fell forward. Now we're going to look for the spot. First down. Mark it in on the sheet. First down. Officials time out for a measurement. If Mr. Wright says it's a first down, it's a first down. So let's play on, boys. You know, when I saw the far judge coming across, his foot was up almost another half a foot, but uh, I'm still going with my, he's got it, he's got it. It's already on the official stat sheet up here in the booth. The radio guys aren't official. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rob Ross. Hey, that was my boy. My boy made that last catch up there. <laughs> There's mom there who was in charge of the booster club. I want to know how high they jumped when he jumped. <laughs> <laughs> Came down with that interception. Full house backfield again by the Raiders. 238 and counting. And we get a penalty by the back official looking at the offense, so I think that's gonna go against North. Illegal procedure. They didn't even get to the line. Coach Brixen asking for some discipline. You need to, well, most important thing is the clock is rolling. First down will ice it, Marty. I don't even think they hardly need a first down. Right, but I'm just saying, even a turnover down is the worst case scenario, but you gotta take care of the Hand ball. Handoff, Gundrum battling forward. Breaks through the line, he's gonna go! He broke through like three tacklers, and he's into the end zone, touchdown! 46 yard, check that. Yes, a 46 yard touchdown run. Holy cow, what happened there, Chris? I was it looked like he whistle. was stopped. I thought he was just battling forward, and all of a sudden he's yep. running away from the crowd. Well, I saw in that last drive, his legs just kept pumping, and that time it worked. He broke away that last tackle, and... What well, was... Look at this. That's the wrong play. Oh. Caught that right away. Wrong running back. 46-yard touchdown run. North should be probably going for two here, Marty. And they are. Different setup Contra here. Contra and Fries in the backfield, wide receiver up, Gundrum going in motion. And another again. flag. Offsides, west. Let's find that cheat where we got all the penalties. See, that was uh, 12 penalties now on north, unofficially. That was west. That was west. Well, I know, but that was, I forgot to mark the last one down. Oh. PAT attempt is a penalty. On West. There you see it. Here you see it. Look at him break. <laughs> yeah. Broke right through. Arm tackles will not work. Good replay there. On Brennan Gundrum. Pitch back. Half and back. And half back option pass. Conter to Stengel. Touchdown. Ah, oh, pardon me. Two point conversion makes it 35 21. Oh, that was sweet. Turn out the lights. The party's yeah, over. You'd hope that would be the case. I'll tell you, the worst thing about this whole situation, Mr. Wright, is I've only got about seven play lines left. Oh, that's all you're going to need, because they're going to have a three and out. Patrick and Mary came to a good game. They're seeing the Golden Raiders win. North played, uh, pardon me, Patrick played a little quarterback for North back in the day. Matter of fact, Patrick's senior year, they won the conference. Patrick was not playing football that year, but 90, uh, his classmates, 90, 93 actually. Three, five. because yeah, he graduated three. in 94. Three, four, three. Yeah, that was uh, oh, Nate Tarkowski. You remember Nate, oh, yeah. played first base for you. Nate that's Tarkowski and uh, uh, who was the real big center. He was an all-conference player. Guess what? Oh, this one stays in bounds, and it's not to number one. That's a good thing. Straight up the middle, boy. That kid ran hard, running a straight line. 
Pretty good return. It's going to be first and 10 west. 2.06 remaining in the ball game. North on top, 35 to 21. You know, Chris is doing a little jig up here in the booth too. He says, I get to do an interview. <laughs> I'm just looking at the clock when I need to go down there. I'm just hoping there's not a big play and an onside or something happens here, but. Yeah, just kind of stay away from the sidelines so you don't get rolled up or something, you know? <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. First and 10 ball on the 37. My soupy uh, has been busy tonight. Standing back there, fires it, complete to dart, and he's hit and dropped immediately. Tanner Doctory right Doctory. there. Oh, no, uh, Urbanic right there. Chris Urbanic. Second down, ball spotted on the 42. Back, Pick back, up back, back, five. back, back up, back up, boys. Back up, back up. No timeouts left. Isupi looking, fires an out pattern over the intended receiver, Visser. Incomplete. Oh, man. I think the North students think they're going out on the field. You know, I don't know. That's not necessary. 13 for 26 in the second half. Is my soupy. Just counting that up as uh, Mr. Wright was checking the fan base. Fake. And uh -oh. down the sideline. How does Brady get out there and nobody's out there by him? Come on, you guys. Jeez. Come on. First and 10. Ball is all the way down to the 22 yard line. My Supi at the controls, 120 remaining in the ball game. My Supi looking, hit as he throws, and pass is intercepted by North. Bringing it out on a great return and a great interception was uh, Tanner Doctory. Now we're calling his name. There you see it. Great catch by Doctory. Good hands. Took it from inside the end zone and got it all the way out to about the 30-yard uh, line. And North is going to do a kneel down. They're in their victory formation right now. Clock rolling, 45 seconds. This could be the last play of the game. Again, uh, kneel down. Maybe one more time. Nope, they're gonna let her run down. Officials are not going to put the ball back in play. And North is going to have a victory here in 2009, 35 to 21. Don't leave now because when we come back, Chris Wright will have some interviews with uh, a couple of the victorious Golden Raiders. And there you see it. That's the ball game. North a winner, 35-21. Low 150. High triglycerides increase your risk of heart disease. And if you're a woman, that risk goes up even more. After standing in the shadows of good and bad cholesterol, triglyceride, also known as the forgotten fat, is ready to share the spotlight and the attention. Remember to ask your doctor about the good, the bad, 
and the forgotten fat. And remember, normal triglycerides are under 150. This message brought to you by Sister to Sister, working together for healthy hearts. This is a banana. This is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. The most dangerous thing our kids have to deal with today isn't violence. It isn't drugs. It's unhealthy food. Too many of our kids are overweight. They're headed for diabetes, heart problems, or worse. They need to eat healthy things like vegetables, fruits, high fiber vegetarian foods. As our kids grow, the right foods can help protect them from obesity, heart problems, diabetes, and even cancer. To find out more, call for a free booklet or visit our website, kidsgethealthy.org. One day, you were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. By in the field We're back Chris here Wright. with two happy Raiders. Uh, Micah, you kind of had the uh, big last play there. It seemed like you were going to get all boggled up on the corner here and boom, right down the sidelines on that last play. What happened or what did you see in front or did you just take I off? Could, I, could, I took off. I saw Brennan. I knew he was blocking. Oh, my gosh. I could not have done it without him. I couldn't have done it without my whole team. We, we, it was a good fight. It was a great fight. Well, I kind of saw you break out there, and it looked like they're going to bog. I was looking for the West players, and all of a sudden you just kind of burst, and there was nothing there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was happy about that, and then all, all it was was corner end zone, and I, I was able to dive in for it, and it was good. Well, let's talk about the game in general on the offensive side. You had a nice mix-up of running and passing. You know, you got, especially in the first half, you looked like you could run the ball, you know, almost at will, and then when you had to, DVC could throw the ball. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know, like, I... Um, we, we were running it pretty hard. We kept running. I think we should have passed a little bit more, but, I mean, we pulled through. It was good. We had some struggles, you know, some mistakes, but, you know, we, we covered those up. It was big plays. Yeah, it's still early in the season. One thing about, you know, Coach Brixson's offense is there's a lot of backs that get involved, keeps a lot of you guys fresh. It's not just one horse pounding all the time. There's a whole bunch of guys out there, you know, that can, you know, break in there and read at a play, and, you know, Brendan ran, had some nice plays. You had some nice runs, nice changes to even up, give everybody, you know, have fresh legs. <clears throat> yeah, we have a lot of talent on the team, you know, we're just, uh, we just have to work as a team, that's all. I mean, that's really all we can say, you know. You took advantage of early turnovers, you got a turnover, you got the ball right away, and your offense went right down the score, you know, last week you struggled on offense, I think that was important to get off on the right foot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to you, you got a couple weeks left, uh, we're going to sit here and we'll talk to Tom here about the defense. How about those turnovers? Had five turnovers to, to tonight. I know that one right in the beginning really set us tone. Uh, it set the pace of the game and it just kept us pumped right away. Um, Cal and I recovered it right away. <laughs> I thought another thing too is every once in a while you had some breakdown on tackles, but you guys stuck with them. The first half you really shut down their running game. Yeah, um, I don't know. We just had a flow to the ball. All the front line got a push and uh, those backers just filled. Well, this is a dangerous quarterback too. You must have seen on film and things and. I'll tell you, those two receivers were pretty tough to keep track out there, and you kind of mixed it up a little bit. They sent you and Stengel on different blitzes to, to try to fool West. I think that was kind of important. Yeah, we tried everything. We switched up our defense halfway through the game. We ended up switching back. It was, it was a mess, but we got it figured out. I saw you had two hands on that last interception there, right? That <laughs> I don't know. Our D-line pushed him, and I just jumped and prayed to God I caught him. Yeah, you, there was nobody near you except you. It was like, come on, Tom, you got to catch that one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just what can this do for your football team, you being a senior leader out there? And, you know, this was one of those games I said you guys had to have and did take care of that. But what can this do for you guys? It's us. We can't get over Compton, but it carries us in the next week with um, high high hopes for us. Uh, we just keep going, can't let up. Well, for those of you out there, watch how Tommy Ross tackles because he can sure do that. Congratulations to you, Tom and Micah, and good luck with your practice this week. Go enjoy the fun a little bit. With that, we'll take it back to Marty. <laughs> 
West had closed to 27-21 uh, at the 7-0-1 mark of the fourth quarter on a one-yard run. Uh, North got the ball on the kickoff, was not able to move it. West got it right back, and then the key play of the game happened during that possession. Tom Ross, you just saw him interviewed, intercepted the pass. North had possession again with a chance to open up their lead, and they did just that on a 46-yard run by Brennan Gundrum. That made the score after a two-point conversion. 35-21, and that's our final. North winning it, a very exciting ball game, 35-21. West uh, made a good account of themselves. They were dead in the water in the first half, but uh, did a great job in the second half to close, like I said, to 27-21. Uh, our next broadcast for uh, WSCS-TV, there you see Brixen uh, being congratulated by numerous uh, fans after their 35-21 uh, win. Our next broadcast will be uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian. They are gonna host Elkhart Lake next Friday at Kohler High School. For the crew, Brian Andrews giving you that shot. Eric uh, Wiesman up on top. Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials and showing us all those replays. For my son and his wife, Pat and Mary, and my partner, Chris Wright. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.